off to North Point. It's about 6.18 in the morning. I'm gonna try to beat it. Swell's meant to be pumping. So, let's go. Still in it. Yeah, we're out there. Chopper City. Feet are so torn. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting pounded. There's some really, really good waves, but it's pretty inconsistent and really crowded. I snuck a couple of islands, so it was worth getting up early and freezing my ass off. Brett Simpson, 23, from Huntington Beach, California, take one. My name is Hank Rio Rafael Gaskell. It's really cold. You guys better get your act together. And my name's Adrian Bucken, take three. Action. <laughs> It's a pretty exciting time to be, um, you know, surfing. You only get one opportunity to do it, so I want to make sure that I give it everything I've got and push my surfing as far as I can push it. So, been in the wild for eight days now. Been eating a lot of grass root, just uh, build a fort back here, try to stay out of the sun. Been catching a lot of crabs, eating them raw. It's been tough, you know, getting dehydrated. I've been trying to spear fish. Hasn't been many fish, you know, my spear isn't too good. Um, been drinking a lot of the, um, a lot of the tree root, but only two days left. I got it. Got it going. Got to fit everything in the car. Got some uh, mangoes and some bananas for the trip. The protein powder. Yeah, it's rough at times, being on the road a lot. A lot of hotel rooms and houses and planes and drives. And... It's worth it. Oh, you gonna film me early in the morning? Doing tots at the ski, it's really harsh on your body, jerks you all around. And you get going so fast, it's hard to pull stuff. Morning meat pies. I uh, got about eight days of the contest. It's going to be crowded, but hopefully there's plenty of swell and points turn on. Should be fun. Uh, right now, the waves are one foot. Not much surf, but I don't know. We're having fun, making the most of it. used to generating your own speed and your body torques at a certain angle where when you're flying on a wave that fast you're kind of used to like maybe getting a foot or two out of the water and now you're getting four to six feet out of the water that's kind of what the sports come to you know it's progressed to a level where if there's waves or not you're gonna try to show your ability hey But I've never been so sore in my life.
Ben Toats is really harsh on boards. Uh, a couple got wrecked. He broke it there. Got that one fixed. That's how I kind of was here. Ever since I've grown up, I've been competitive. Started surfing when I was about 12. I've played baseball, football, basketball, and all I know is I hate losing. You know, it's just something that doesn't come easy for me. Just surf, kill, care. Heading to the airport to West Oz. I mean, life on the road, it's. It's like a, it's one of those things that millions of people would die for, but at the same time, they don't realize that you're working, you know? You're surfing in events, and you're surfing waves that are crowded, and you're dealing with a lot of stuff. Got it to work. Doing the burn. Peppered steak pot, amazing. You can eat them every day. We got to Mitch's house and we started playing ball, and ever since then he's been an addict, you know? Maybe surfed once the whole trip, and uh, he's been shooting the ball a lot. See? He's been working on the game a lot and, uh, you know, practice. Hey, practice in the tournament. There he is. Oh, hit that shot, Hank. Oh. oh. I try to coach him, but he's still out there. He's working hard. <laughs> I don't know. He's just a great ball handler. perfect wherever you go but when you're with Hank you're gonna blow it up. It's called Gas Bay. It's on the outskirts Margaret River. We've been walking for days now, lost count, but we found it and it's it's been completely worth it. Like just look at the, look at the surf.
You like that one? I like it. Just being able to experience, you know, life and being able to travel the world and experience different cultures, surfing different places, you know, is, is amazing. Look at that laugh. Heard Bonsai, the fish were biting in Savo. Bonafide fisherman. It's me. How are you feeling? Yeah, that's weird. Carnage. I got slammed on the rock. That was a good time. Flat day fun. Yeah, I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> Yeah, it's been um, very eventful so far. The low point probably um, seeing Brett's uh, thumb at a right angle to his hand. But it was, it was good, you know, thumbs up for that. Great. Let's go. Three or four months now. Um, I don't know how we pulled this one off when I'm still on a trip with four natural footers. <laughs> Heading to a, a left point, or kind of a point called lefties. Pretty rippable left hander. And uh, it's a really scenic, scenic route. Get the tail, or like. Yeah. Like, even he had a little section where he could have done like a little. You know that old up air or something? You know that old 40 to be money one bells when he was riding that pink board? Yeah. I mean, I think it's in a day in a life.
It went good, you know. Just used my palm a little bit more. Feels good. Back in the lineup. Good race. You want some of this? Being a professional surfer is also about being a professional athlete. I think surfing is a professional sport now. It's not about rocking up with your bros and your two boards and, you know, your bright weddy. There's, you know, a lot of people out there that are really motivated. If you don't have a little bit of discipline and a lot of drive, you know, you're not really going to last too long. There's a lot of big fish out there that are going to eat you up. Cheers, mate. I think right now there's no better time than there ever has been to be a pro surfer. And you don't get these kind of years when, when you're young, you know, in your early 20s ever again. And it's just about trying to bring the best out of yourself. Hey, you've reached Brett. I'm currently in Western Australia making a movie. Hello. Time to get up. Apparently the surf looks pretty good. Swells about six to eight foot. Light winds today. I'm gonna to go have a look at the box. get that many waves, time to go search and uh, maybe try to find some barrels. Uh, we're going to a spot called Secret Spot. Nobody knows. We just found it. And uh, <clears throat> a little bit more exploring today. Hopefully get a few little waves. Lost in space, you've got me wondering. Come fishing, man. This what you gotta do to survive out here in the bush. This beauty, trash and shock, repeat, repeat, you took the question, we all took it. This beauty, trash and shock, retreat.
gets hit by a whitewash and it's now got water all over the screen. It's not cool. Not very cool. Yeah, the salad is lettuce, spread of carrot, 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 and tomato. Don't mind it, just take it out. But... really thankful for the life that I live. I feel really blessed to be able to travel the world and um, surf great waves, hang out with great people. There isn't much more I could really ask for. It's all about really being focused and uh, mature to, um, you know, make it to the top. I get paid for surfing and it's something that yeah, it puts a little pressure on you, but at the same time, you're putting your limbs out there to try to shine and be the best, whether it's, you know, competitive success or, you know, career career success or, um, you know, just kind of 
relationships with other people and just kind of learning along the way is all kind of part of the journey. Here. Hey. Get over? Yeah, they'll be touching the ground. Low rider. Yeah, we're going to need two photos. Oh. Oh. Off to South Africa now. See you in a month. No, I'm really, I, I'm, I think, you know, at the end of the day, like, I, you know, I love surfing and everything, but, um, you know, I'm really fortunate to, I think, have a family that's behind me, whatever I, you know, chose to do, and I'm obviously kind of living the dream of being a professional surfer, and right now it's pretty, pretty damn good. Please, oh, please come home today. If you don't go, I can't say no, and it will hurt twice more, baby, I can't stop. Yeah, well, it's pretty um, strong wind out there at Margaret, so I just thought I'd try and cut down on the hair, reduce the drag. I'm sitting here all day and surfing my heat this afternoon. Just a bit of bee pollen, a little bit of um, a little power boost for the day, a bit of nitro. This is the guy with a new haircut. Pretty, pretty tiring surfing heat out at Margaret, so gotta save the energy. Take 87.